When night falls again over the great house at Collinwood, a full moon will rise in the sky. Knowing this, Quentin Collins has lived through a day of inner torment. In desperation, he has called on a gypsy to help him, for he believes that his own death may be the only means of escape from the terrible curse with which he must live. All right, go to my desk. Top right-hand drawer. Go on, Magda! I don't just stare at it. Pick it up! What is this for? It contains six silver bullets. I can't escape from here tonight. If I break away, I want you to shoot me through the heart. Now, you promise me you'll do that. Yes, yes, I, I promise. Quentin, I must be... Get out of here, Trask! Get out! No. I think I'd better stay. Magda, get him out of here. Go. Oh, no! I won't ask you why this gun contains silver bullets or why you've manacled yourself. I think I'll just wait and see the answers for myself when the moon rises. <laughs> about to rise over Collinwood. This is the night that Quentin Collins has been dreading, but his most terrible dreams have never been as awful as this moment. For now, with the moon about to rise, Quentin Collins is trapped by the hated Gregory Trask, knowing there is no way to keep Trask from seeing him change from man to beast. It almost worked, Quentin. But whatever was happening could not stand up to one who has the Almighty on his side. There is no help for you now, and there never will be. In exactly one minute, the moon will start to rise. And I will be witness to the fact that in my presence, the transformation took place. And then the whole world will know with no doubt or question what your secret is. century at the great house of Collinwood and this night a full moon shines over the estate and to Quentin's astonishment he does not turn into the wolf that walks as a man but he still fears that this is some cruel joke played by the gods but in his room there awaits a surprise that may or may not explain what has happened
the turn of the century on the great estate of Collinwood. And this night has brought new fear to one man who has a studio near the great house. For he has made a disturbing discovery that Amanda Harris remembers nothing before March 11th, 1895, the very day that he first sketched her. And now, to change his thoughts and calm his anxieties, he makes a new sketch. This night, the fate of Barnabas Collins' mission to the past hangs in the balance. He has found out when Quentin Collins will die, but not who killed him. And so, in the cellar of the old house, he tries once again to try and transcend time and space and return briefly to the present in search of information. Barnabas relies on the mysterious powers of the I Ching to guide him back to the year 1969. While in the house above, Edward enters to find him and kill him. Thank you. 